Aquarius, it's my lady from a lady's way here, and I'll come to do your weekly reading for the week of 9 11 through 9 18 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Oh, Jesus! All right, so third party situations going on. I feel like this is being done to you because it's in the reverse, okay? But general reading, it could be both ways. It could be you. But I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising. And let's get this show on the road. Okay, what we got here? All right. Ugh. So... I'm going to relate this with the third party card that's being done to you. Like if this is you with the third party card, and it's an unwise decision to do this because this person or you might be doing this because somebody is acting sexually attracted to you. So it's like if you in a relationship, your partner is not treating you right. So you're going somewhere else. And this person isn't really attracted to you as a person. And you know it's an unwise decision, but you're doing it anyway. Okay. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What's going on with the Aquarius for 9-11? Aquarius, 9-11 through 18, 2017. What's going on with Aquarius, 9-11 through 18, 2017? Love reading. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm, yeah, somebody been treating somebody out of the blue. Um, it's crazy because it seems like you still, you're not feeling like, crazy about this situation you're not like tripping out like i'll get the i know i can do better kind of thing so it's like i i don't know let's see what the readings say because it's like i keep hearing um, well i'm saying why are you dealing with this if you know you can do better you know that's my question all right what's going on with the curious 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 love reading 911 through 9-18-2017 love reading. What's going on? Alright. Alright, so somebody has left you. Okay? General reading can go both ways, but I'm going to say it like I see it. So somebody has left you. Mm. So it seems like in some of you, in some of the cases, somebody left you for an ex. Or somebody, you are somebody's ex. And it seems like they're trying to sneak back to you. Okay? After they left you. Alright, so. Wow. Okay, so it seems like you might have left somebody. Or somebody left you because you wouldn't open your heart up to them. Yeah. Like somebody like really cared for you, wanted you to open your heart. You wouldn't do it. So they left. And then. I feel like you couldn't open your heart because I feel like you still have some kind of connection with your ex, okay? Mm. Okay, so it might be children involved in this situation or it could just be somebody had a relationship that they really cared about and loved this person. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this person really cared and loved their ex. And I feel like that might have been the reason that this situation was left in the beginning. Because you wouldn't open your heart. Wow. Okay. Mm. Alright, so. It seems like the person that left uh, was like some kind of different religion. Or maybe a higher pay, pay grade. It was different. It was social differences. And I felt I feel like this person sort of feel like they were above you in some way. And I feel like you made them feel outside of themselves. I feel like it was a lot of comparing to the ex. And uh, they just couldn't take it no more. Okay. Mmm. Okay, so it seems like this person feels like they made an unwise decision by leaving. Okay, yeah, that's because they want to come back to you. So this is like, wow, man. It's like a, a some kind of hopscotch circle. It's like 
some both parties keep leaving and going back to their exes and coming back and going back but it seems like they like their exes better but y'all keep meeting in the middle i don't know all right um he has the same thing said over and over you know on both sides the reason y'all leaving and the reason y'all coming back you know but in reality nobody is good enough for anybody in this situation all right what's going on for the aquarius 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 love reading. What's going on? 9, 11 through 9, 18, 2017. Aquarius love reading. 9, 9, 9, 9, 11 through 9, 18, 2017. Okay. Oh. Of course, with all this back and forth, of course, somebody going to feel like they was betrayed and stabbed in the back. Mm. Somebody just took off in the middle of the night, of course. Like when nobody was watching. Mm. Could have been dealing with an uh, air sign. I mean, Aries. You are an air sign. You could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. I mean, a fire sign. Sorry. <laughs> Might have been dealing with a fire sign with this situation. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking you definitely might have been dealing with a fire sign. Okay. All right. Let's see. So we got the Ten of Swords first. I feel like somebody going to turn down some kind of money offer too. So it seems like somebody might try to give you money for them to come back. And I feel like it's going to be turned down. I don't feel like it's being turned down because you don't want the person. You just don't want the situations attached to it. All right, so you got the Ten of Swords here. Swords, swords, swords. It says, bitter disappointment at the outcome of events. Mental and physical pain may be present. And a feeling of desperation. Yeah, that feeling of desperation. That's why you keep running back to this middle relationship. Okay. All right, so we got the Five of Swords. It says, it may be time to limit your losses by letting go. Do not let the negative input of others influence your decision. Do not continue to fight when the war is over. Move on from this situation. This is basically like if this is you with the kids with this person, you just coming back because it's common ground. Don't do it. You know, it's just taking you to the same craziness over and over. And here I feel like it's trying to get you to make uh, just start over. Make a new decision. Go find somebody else. Get the strength to go outside of your box. Cut it out. Alright, now you got the full card. Alright, so the full card. Full card. Where's the full? Alright, so the full says, Planning has not been done. Obstacles are not seen. Paying attention to risks. This situation continues even though better opportunity may appear. So it's like, <laughs> this is basically saying you ain't going to leave this situation. Even though there's somebody new for you, you know, to start a better life, but you got to get strong to get it. You won't, you won't go. You won't go. Okay. You won't go because you want to stick to what you know. Okay. So got the strength card. And it says, now is the time for great strength. However, use patience wisely to achieve your goals. You are above your enemies. Do not overreact. Confront any bad situation now. So it's basically like the bad situation here is um, keep going in this um, relationships, these relationships over and over. And you know you're not getting anywhere with it. So it's like find the strength to go on and make something new you know start talking to new people that's what i feel like here you know all right we got the page of coins reverse it says um basically not learning anything new not going to school not getting money not doing anything exciting and then you get in negative information through text messages, mail, and information. So it seems like this is just a relationship full, filled with drama, like both ways. You know, it's nothing but hurt at both ends of the stick. So it's like 
I don't know. What do you want to do? You got the opportunity you, to make a leap of faith and just go do something, but you got to be strong to do it. But as you, if you continue to do what you're doing, it's just going to be the same. Same situations over and over. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, And uh, if you guys can, just like if you can pray or um, find somewhere to donate, you can donate through PayPal also to the Hurricane Relief. Because, um, I mean, we all need some help sometimes. And we just like if we can give a little, give a little dollar two dollars whatever you can do just to try to help those people out you know but love and peace have a great week